Hello, welcome to Cataclysm Quick Tip number 55, where I'm going to be giving a demonstration or example of a possible home base setup. So I've been asked a number of times about setting up bases and how to do it, what's possible, things like that, and uh, I felt like it might be a good uh, extension to the Quick Tip series to kind of slot in every once in a while an example of a base setup that I think would be pretty cool. This is both to uh, give people some ideas of what's possible, demonstrate some of the game mechanics and things like that. So let me know in the comments if you think this is a valuable piece of information and whether I should continue setting up these kinds of base examples for folks. So in this circumstance, we are setting up a base in a local mansion. So here's the map for the area. You can see there's the mansion. We're in the bottom corner here. And if we zoom out, that's the mansion as a whole proper. We've got the pool in the northeast corner. We are actually setting up down here in the southwest corner where the kitchen area is. And if we zoom back in, you'll notice right here is the first thing that I wanted to examine or show you. So I've got a number of power generation utilities set up here. We have uh, nine solar arrays. Now, this is an extreme example. It's pretty hard to put together solar arrays from the uh, existing items out in the world. So don't think you're going to set this up immediately. But um, this is just kind of an extreme example to show what's possible. So I've got nine solar arrays set up. So generating electricity during the daylight hours. And we've also got three large wind turbines. If we examine this, you can see I've named it Workshop 1. And we've got the upgraded solar arrays in these positions. Large wind turbine, large wind turbine, a large wind turbine. And then I wanted to point out in particular this item here, heavy duty cable. So this is another thing that I've been asked fairly frequently, which is, is there a way of moving power between Z levels? And here is an example of exactly that. So I've got a heavy duty cable that I have activated and I've attached one end of the cable to this corner of the workshop. So right here is where it is currently connected. There's no visual indicator in the graphics tile set packs of where the cable actually spools out to or runs, but it is connected to that point there. Then it runs across the ground here, in through the window, through the door, down the Z level to the lower section of my little base setup. So in this particular case, I have that cable running and attached to this position. This is, if we take a look at it, workshop number two. So it's a separate vehicle. And you'll notice right here, heavy duty cable is attached. So this is the other end of the cable that is attached to the solar arrays and wind turbines up above. And you can see I've also got as part of this general vehicle here, a bunch of storage batteries and you can see the numbers. So we're at 95 and then 62 and 61. So keep an eye on those numbers. And it is currently daytime. It is sunny outside. So if we pass some time, we'll just let 30 minutes go by. We'll check those numbers again, and you can see 94 and 72. Let some more time go by. We'll let an hour go by this time. 93 and 92. So you can see that it is charging up fairly dramatically. And in addition to that, this is my little kitchen storage nook for food items. I've got a couple of refrigerators, a couple of freezers, and a couple of cargo spaces to hold dry goods. And this is a Food Co. kitchen buddy for... Uh, Offering various dehydration and vacuum sealing and all that kind of stuff. You can put a kitchen unit in there or whatever you'd like. Um, that's all that this one is. So workshop two is pretty much just my battery storage center and uh, the freezers and refrigerators and food prep. Now, in addition, I've got in this corner here another heavy duty cable. So this is a totally separate cable from the first one. And it is going around and linking to this section of the workshop. So if I look here, this is workshop three. We've got the other end of that heavy duty cable listed here. And the power is flowing from upstairs from the solar arrays into this workshop section. Then I've got a separate cable into this workshop section. And I've actually got a third cable that runs all the way up to this section. So I'll explain up here in just a second. But basically, I've got a bunch of separated vehicle workshop sections all connected together via heavy duty cable that allows the power to flow to the entire workshop arrangement. Uh, this section here is mostly for crafting. <clears throat> As you can see, I've got a bunch of uh, metal tables set up to hold various types of items. You could set auto sorting zones up for these. Check out my zone manager, quick tip and university series and such for that information. 
that would auto sort everything for you. But in this case, if for a visual example, I just wanted to get this set up and kind of show it. Then I've got a workbench here to work on while I'm doing crafting, and it will pull the materials from all these tables as needed. We've also got a control electro a control station here for electronics where I can turn on the overhead lights, I can turn on the stereo. That way we've got light, we've got music to craft by, nice comfy chair to sit in, and the work table or workbench that helps speed up crafting is available right next to me as well. Got a welder and a forge unit set up here. Pretty much everything I need. Um, above that, I've got a chair and an MP3 player, should I need a separate music source. And then I've got my bookcases here with all the books that I need to read. A bed section, as obvious. And uh, apparently we've got somebody above us banging around. <laughs> and then in here, I've got some other utilities. So we've got smoking racks so that we can smoke any meat we bring back. We've got a butchering rack and table nearby to butcher up the corpses. Uh, down here, we've got some other odd type items. That would be standing tanks for liquid storage, a um, fermenting vat, the still for alcohol, and also a charcoal kiln to make charcoal for our smoking racks. Finally up here, we've got workshop number four. I think I just called it engine. This is mostly just a uh, two things. It's a washing machine with a 200 liter tank of water and some detergent so I can wash up any filthy gear. And then in this position, I've also got a motor or an engine with an alternator and a 200 liter tank with some gas. So this is connected to the other one as well. So if we take a look here, I've got a heavy duty cable and that cable actually runs down this way and connects into the main workshop. I think I got it connected to this part of the, the station right here, uh, right there. Yeah, heavy duty cable. So I've got four different vehicle workshop setups all linked together with heavy duty cables they all draw power off of the uh, the main grid and if i go and turn on a bunch of the floodlights so if we turn on the flood oops yeah, yeah sure we turn on those floodlights let's see if we see the power draw so we're at 97 and 96 if we wait for an hour take a look no we're actually still gaining energy so we've got so much power generating off of those solar arrays and the wind turbines that i've got two full floodlights which are pretty heavily uh are pretty heavy power draws um actually gaining energy still so that kind of gives you an idea but uh, this is just one example i really like this section of the mansion because it does give me an opportunity to have the stairs nearby which allows me to use the power uh, from this upper location, run it through a window and a door, down the stairs, into the lower workshop area, which most people know is a safer position to be, uh, to be set up down here. Less wander spawns and so on that you have to deal with. So this is base example number one with a Z-level power supply system set up. Hope you found this information helpful. And like I said at the beginning, let me know if you find this kind of demonstration useful. I have ideas for some other locations that I think would be pretty cool for base setups. And uh, I'll be happy to kind of set those up and show them off to give folks an idea of what's possible if you have some interest in it. So let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. Have a great day and stay safe out there.